Every day I follow the same routine, wake up in the morning, lay in bed till I have enough strength to get up, eat breakfast, maybe a couple donuts or microwavable bacon or leftover Chinese food, it all tastes bitter. Take a shower, caress my cock and contemplate castrating myself, I'm overcome by sexual urges. Get dressed, avoid looking in the mirror, looking in the mirror is like seeing the circus freak. Go to work, ask myself why I don't get a real job, go home, lay in bed till it gets dark, go for a walk, vampires only come out at night. Lay in bed, think about being chained and whipped, masturbate, I told you I'm overcome by urges. Lay in bed till morning, sleep for two hours, start over. I wish I could just go to someone, tell them how I'm being eaten alive by emotions, open myself up to them like a book of poems, but I can't because this is a poem, and my life is a book of poems, and the world is an anthology of poems, and in poems we speak differently, otherwise every dumbass would call himself Einstein, but I try, I tell bums, junkies, perverts, strangers, women, people who will understand or want to understand, I open my book to page one, translated in English, which is the hardest language to learn, but it just says, food is bitter, and I want to castrate myself, and there's a freak show in my mirror, and I'm a vampire at night, and I should be chained and whipped. They just laugh at me, or stare in awkward silence, because every dumbass isn't Einstein, and every dumbass doesn't speak poetics, and every dumbass doesn't understand. No one understands, because this is a poem, and poems are like Latin, and this poem is handwritten in a real book on a real piece of paper. Desperation came to the door. I said hello. How are you? Please come in. So she stayed and never left. I said hello, how are you, please come in, so she stayed and never left. Sadness came to the door. I said hello. How are you? Please come in. So she stayed and never left. Hello, how are you? Please come in. So she stayed and never left. Sanity came to the door. I said hello. Please come in. But she left instead.
trying to be like Samuel, read the Holy Bible. Speaking of, thinking of, who is hell liable? Midget porn, gunshots, feeling suicidal. Rapping in Tyrone, check, turning at the trial. Dreidel, 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 spinning in a spiral. Here's the twist you can't resist, grooving in the Nile. Urban spaceman's jungle tribe contemplates denial. Chicken check at break of dawn, feeling suicidal. Barbed wire roller coaster sitting next to Kyle. Allen Ginsberg hipster swag, dance like the tribal. Bad motherfucker suit and tie, passion fruits primal. Bitch tip bob, cheese bread, Albanian Scott style. Put in place on in the jungle, feel like Oscar Wilde. Crips and bloods, mops and brooms, wavelength got the title. Gotta run, no fly list, see you in a while. Speaking of, thinking of. Samuel Gangster Rap, read the Holy Bible. An old friend of mine has come back to visit. His name is Twitch. I Twitch. And he always comes during these most stressful times. At the head of a large dining table. Circus bear on my right, seeing eye monkey on my left. I was invited to this naked lunch. And now the guests begin to arrive. There's darling little Susie, all grown up. Tight skirt barely covering. My long cleavage on top. Already has a vodka on the rocks. I ain't who will pay. She has a room and doesn't need to feel alone tonight. Jimmy Brown is shaking in the corner. Empty pill bottle in hand, joint in the mouth. Darting eyes from paranoia. At least every other emotion is numb. A bag of bones is watching the TV. Channel surfing for exercise. He's too skinny anyways. Plus, he's brain dead. Johnny sits at the table eyeing Susie. Too nervous to make a move, tired of having no one, and way too horny. Begins masturbating under the table, puts the cum in the milk. The floor is shaking above me now, several bodies fall through. Fucking each other still as if no one sees, and they don't care anyway. Vigilante Hank clad in leather, small boy on a chain leash. Hank will kill the first minority he sees. Every emotion in him is violence. The boy whips Hank. A howl of pleasure, self-loathing, and sexual confusion. The man at the far right is playing piano. His singing is harsh and gruff. His music is elegant and beautiful. His tears fill the chip jar. We all enjoy his pain for a while. Stand-up comedian is telling jokes. Self-deprecating humor, the lid to his antidepressant jar. Yeah, the guests have all arrived now. Low lives to Wall Street. Pedophiles to transvestites. 
junkies to prostitutes, circus freaks to other pornographic atrocities, and every other mental patient in between. Making lunches served, needles wrapped in human flesh, white meat, dark meat, and every other skin tone. Computer chip and cum soup, pain and suffering smothered in cyanide, the wine bottles full of tears. Yet I still don't see what's on the fork. The host walks out in a ring master suit, painting walls and floors. Melt to the big top. He swings from a chandelier, sucks the blood of two vampires, and begins to convulse and seize. Right into the toilet bowl oven. He stands up, shit and piss dripping from his sailor suit. Fixes his top hat and says, Yes, I hope you enjoyed the horror. Sitting in my bed of tears, crying. I can't fall asleep, cause I'm crying. Bed gets bigger, nothing else changed. Made it myself from feeling this way. Sitting in my bed of tears, crying. No one to talk to, cause they'll worry. Can't talk to anyone, I'll worry. No one to talk to, although they'll listen. If I talk to them, I'll only be a burden. No one to talk to, cause they'll worry. Laying in my bed of tears thinking. Wish I could stop my brain from thinking. I want some sleep, can't turn off my brain. I wish I could stop from going insane. Laying in my bed of tears thinking. Seven of caffeine, adrenaline, pumping iron, ripped pants, beach, sand, butt cheeks, anal rape, suicide, bloodstain, gains, warfare, world, life, Mars, David Bowie, Ziggy, OG Kush, Dalai Lama, chill, mountains, coffee, grind, outer course, condoms, abortion. Shower, gym, jam, entertainment for Britain, government, communist, Mao, Warhol, gunshot, ball, bullet hole, Courtney Love, Nirvana, Buddha, Charlie Parker, Birdman, Superhuman, Nash, Carl, Beer, Alcohol, Nick Hanks, Divorce, Mom, Pa, Hillbilly, Banjo, Drawstring, Claw Hammer, Sickle, Ice. Blue balls, horniness, disease, masturbation, right hand, conservative, wrong, stupid, fuck up, go to hell, Satan, God, morals, ethics, logical, education, ignorance, Reagan, Nixon, spy, James Bond, Octoman, fame, 1980s, Mallory, vomit, food, overweight, fried chicken, cornbread, save, slavery, a blanket. Everybody wants to win, be the best at something they enjoy, but not everyone can win. Only one person is the best, and the fact of the matter is, somebody has to lose. Somebody has to be the worst. 
So why not let it be me? Pull a JC, sacrifice myself for the greater good. You got nothing to lose. Not even dignity or sanity. I'm a lowlife, sex crazed scum, would be addict if I could afford it, tormented artist. I stand before you screaming profanities and nude. Somebody has to lose. Who cares if it's me? Not like I deserve to win. Besides, I already feel shitty. Why not have a reason for it? It appears to me that nothing is ever random. That everything ever done relates to everything else. That life is a sequence of seemingly random events that are all connected. So the eye stem from the hole in the ground to the fly on the wall. That in some way you sitting there on the wall doing absolutely nothing is impacting the lives of everyone. From Santa Claus to Superman. But don't quote me on that. I wish I were a dope fiend, an addict, a junkie, a drugstore, cowboy, monkey on my back, paranoid, blissfully low, swinging from fix to fix, playing chicken with death. Man, I wish I were a dope fiend. There's something appealing about that lifestyle. No home, no job, no money, living in a car, robbing pharmacies, trading up for a bigger and better low, doing anything to waste this life away, escaping the blue-suited dumbass pigs, so carefree. Who needs friends? Got a dealer, occasionally a partner in crime, parole officers, any other junkies who give me a hand, ratting them out when I'm in a stitch, Friends just drag you down, counting on you, getting in the way of your low, cheating you out of your fix. All I need is a girl, nice sleazy babe, smoking piece of ass, hot tits, sucking on my dick, fucking her after every fix, every night, someone to share these lows with, only with me for the drugs, keeping away the loneliness. The fix itself, the blissful low, blues, yellows, pills, powdered, needles, spoons, lighters, morphine, valium, heroin, sinking further into this great low, spike in my vein, dope in my blood, wasting away this dreary existence. God, I wish I were a dope fiend. There ain't nothing better out there for me. Nothing more I deserve than to be a pathetic, piece of shit, scum of the earth, bottom feeding, leech, Pitiful, lonely, dope fiend. Did you ever stop to think? Maybe everything is already planned. Maybe our destinies are made for us. Maybe things have to be how they are. Maybe we don't make our own decisions. Maybe no matter how hard we try, we can't change. Maybe I'm just supposed to feel how I do. Maybe these horrible feelings are permanent. Maybe we will have both love and sex. Maybe we aren't meant to be. Maybe there is no reason for any of this. Maybe it's all one big dead end. Maybe we're slowly falling to our bottom. Maybe I just got there first. Maybe I'm dragging you there faster. Maybe you actually don't love me. Maybe I'm just using you. Maybe I'm actually bisexual. Maybe I'm just frustrated with everything. Maybe nothing gets better. Maybe the world will explode one day. Maybe I should kill myself before the world does. Maybe God is a sadist. Maybe I'm a sadist because I deserve to be whipped. Maybe nothing you can ever say will convince me. Maybe everyone feels like I do. Maybe I'm just
just terrified of everyone and everything. Maybe I will never succeed at anything. Maybe I don't deserve you. Maybe I don't deserve anything. And maybe, just maybe, I actually don't belong here at all. Maybe I should shut the fuck up. I was told to never stare at the sun, otherwise I'd go blind. But maybe I want to go blind. Walking around, arms extended, feeling my way through life. People say it's awful being blind. Personally, I want to be. It's kind of like being left out in the dark, not being able to see, having to feel your way through. I wouldn't mind if the world went pitch black either. I don't want to see anymore. If I can't see my life, I can't be hurt by it. And if I can't be hurt, I won't be in pain all the time. I've been in the dark, out of the loop, so long it doesn't matter anymore if the world goes black. Lou Reed wrote, if you close the door, the night will last forever. If the night lasts forever, then time will stand still and I won't need to deal with all these changes. But then the sun won't come up, and then I can't go blind. Fear of the dark and staring at the sun are the same thing. It's the fear of not seeing. And if you can't see, then your brain is in the dark, out of the loop, and that's the scariest part. Not knowing what's ahead. Is it a wall or pavement rushing at you? Is it a chance to be in the loop or just a noose? Is that pain? The problem isn't seeing, though. It's feeling. And if I'm blind or in the dark, I just have to feel more and more. I hate feeling these things. But I'll keep staring at the sun and hopefully go blind and hope that maybe... Just maybe, feeling with my hands doesn't hurt as much as with my mind. When I quit my job. 
job. When I dress respectably. When I leave my burn up drunk friends. When I shave my head bald. When I act like a fucking human being. When I stop preaching for commies and anarchists and nihilists and Satanists. When I stop acting gay. When I stop talking about sex. When I start acting on my sexual impulses. When I just shut the fuck up. When I become corpse thin. When I become nothing but a big man bun. When I actually start caring about myself. When I take you off the pedestal. When you peel off all my skin. When I cut open my gut and pour out my blood. When I tear down the wall and show you I can feel. When I'm no longer a bum. When I'm no longer myself. Give up everything when I become your slave. When I give myself a lobotomy. When I kill in your name. When I learn how to kiss. When I learn period. When I become a mature, responsible adult. When I follow the laws. When I become attractive, when I control myself and build back, when I accept I need you, when I realize you don't love me, when I dangle from the ceiling, tell me now, when will you be happy? So I can just do it already. They say something's wrong with me. I'm sick, evil, insane, not right. Normal people don't think like me, don't act like me. All I know is I have a need, a desire. Something that makes me feel like this, think like this, act like this, and no matter how wrong I know these things are, and how out of hand they get, I have to do them. It started with a feral cat I brought home one day, a friend, and one day he tried to leave, but I wasn't done with him, so I grabbed him by the neck, threw him back inside, got a rock, smashed his little head in, and now he couldn't leave, now he'd be with me forever, and I didn't like losing people. It got harder keeping people as an adult, and meet someone new, bring them home, but they'd always try to leave me. I had no choice but to watch them flail and kick as I held their throat, refusing to let go of them, or watch them double over, stagger, and fall, drowning in their own red swimming pool. Now I could hold them as tight as I wanted, and not have to let go, and we could swim together, forever. Love was harder. I couldn't keep friends, how could I keep a lover? I had been unloved for so long, untouched for so long, I just needed something. So I took what I could, young or old, women or men, didn't matter, as long as we were alone with the silver duct tape and tight rope against bare flesh. You learn to appreciate bondage, and that way someone would love me, touch me, and stay with me forever, and love me forever. Controlling people was nice, and feeling powerful over others is good, and who wouldn't want to play God? But I was afraid. I didn't want to lose anyone. I didn't want my friends to die. I just didn't want to be alone, even if that meant no conversations, just somebody to sit with. And I didn't want to be unloved. I just needed someone to care about me, even if I had to force it, just somebody to be affectionate with. Is it so wrong to be afraid? Is it so wrong to not want to be alone? Is it so wrong to want to be loved? There she is, so heavenly, so beautiful.
stands there, glowing like the halo of an eclipse, destroying my darkness. She is incomplete, yet she remains perfect. I may complete her, but she really completes me. I could stare at her forever. I could be with her forever. I could hold her forever. I never want to lose her. I run to her, she tries to embrace me, failing I fall through her arms. I crash to the lowest low, oh what could have been, I need you. Venus DeMillo I see uh, two angels playing with like a bell or a trophy. It looks like they're fighting over it. The one on the left is like the bad angel and the one on the right is the good angel. It looks more like a bell, but it could be a trophy that they're fighting over. Uh, there are two women wearing red hats playing patty cake. Their shirts are gray with the white pants. This middle part is their hand, and this white empty space is their head. Uh, this looks like two women gathering water. They seem like tribal women, and it looks like there's a butterfly in this middle red spot, being a butterfly floating over the water. This bottom blackish splotch is uh, their bucket and there's their head, there's their breast, uh, their legs, they're bent over and these little red streaks look like blood splatters so they could be like warring tribes or something. Uh, this one is like two gargoyles looking over the top of a castle, this bottom part being a castle. Here's their head. The one on the left is happy, but the one on the right is sad. Uh, there's their horns. I don't really know what this is. This looks kind of like a flower on top of the gargoyles. And these are their feet stepping out over the castle. Uh, this one just looks like a bat wings, feet, antennae, not really antennae, but whatever those little bat things are called. Uh, this one looks like two submarines diving into the ocean, this being their splash mark and their little water trail behind them. Here's their little periscope, and there's the submarine part. Uh, this one's two women dancing. They look like tribal women with uh, feathers in their hair. Here's a f their feathers at the top, their heads and faces, their arms are extending behind them, and their legs are extending inward. They're wearing dresses, and yeah. Uh, this one has two naked mole rats climbing like an ice mountain. The pink shapes are naked mole rats on the right. Uh, these pink heads are naked mole rats heads in the middle with orange bodies looking up at the top of the mountain and it looks kind of like an anthill sort of type structure but it's like blue like ice uh, this one has two women giving birth these pink blobs are fetuses the bottom there's the umbilical cord this blue parts the woman's dress there's their arms 
And this orange trail is their hair flying behind them. And then this looks like a bunch of sea creatures. These blue ones on the right are crabs. These pink ones in the middle are lobsters. Uh, these yellow and orange blobs look kind of like fish. Uh, th th these look like mermaid tails here, but I don't see a body. And those are the crab or lobster heads, and yeah. with matches you're gonna burn yourself or like the house on fire I really like the talking heads men wearing tutus scare me Morris he's a really witty guy sharp biting humor those Brits sure know how to tell jokes Andy Kaufman isn't British I want to go night swimming sometime Never been skinny dipping. Tried juggling a few times. Poetry is a good fit for me. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. I think I spelled that wrong. Can't pronounce wine names. Sideways was a good movie. I'm a commercial filmmaker, a patriot. I hide in trees. Letterman's a dick. The only talk show I watch is Conan, another funny non brit Someone told me the door sing the Reading Rainbow theme. I can't stand eraser shavings. Pencil shavings smell nice. Like a pretty girl naked in bed. Shit, now I got a boner. Some say chronic masturbation is a disease. I didn't wash my hands again, forgot to brush my teeth. Writing is a good exercise of the subconscious. I gave myself a Rorschach test, now I'm disqualified. I don't like sports. It takes a lot longer to write than to speak. Don't know the difference between effect and effect. Girls don't shave their legs in winter. I've been called a homo before. I don't shave my legs ever. Listen to strangers' conversations for kicks. How do you pronounce an excess? Leaf or Leif Garrett? Simple holiday romance. My hand is cramping, right not left, short simple choppy lines, long or short poetry, it's like a whole new language. It's fun to explore the subconscious without a map, this is going on my mixtape. Some people just need to shut the fuck up, smash a bitch across the face, backhand, I tried tennis once a few years ago.
listening deep in thought and beating my mind. I start to feel so strange as my fear takes control and my thoughts spiral down. I look out the window to the great dark night sitting lonely and scared put your head on my shoulder and my head against yours makes me feel so safe makes me feel relieved put your heart into mine make me feel so loved as you ease my brain I look out the window to the great dark night darkness takes my thoughts and I feel so lonely and scared But you ease me with love Nothing has stopped making sense, but everything is still as confusing as ever. I'm at the point where insomnia has become my closest companion because the fear of the dark is so great and dreams are terrifying and maybe if I don't go to sleep, tomorrow can't come. I'm at the point where walking around dangerous neighborhoods in the middle of the night has become the best way to clear my head without it blowing up. point where I scream for no apparent reason besides the obvious one of someone hearing me and saying I'm certifiably insane. I'm at the point where I don't know what's better, repressing my feelings and feeling miserable or expressing my feelings and feeling miserable. I'm at the point where I don't remember if love is a synonym for hate or apply self-hate or be a sign of safety. At the point where bondage makes sense, pleasure comes rushing through the whip because I deserve every cruel torture. I'm at the point where I say I'm bisexual, that way I have great fewer chances of feeling loved. I don't care if they're male or female. I'm at the point where I understand pedophiles and rapists. It's an awful feeling, not being loved by choice. I'm at the point where everywhere I go I feel out of place, unwanted, not needed, isolated, alone, unloved, hated, and not belonging anywhere. I'm at the point where suicide is rational, the only way to feel good again and for people to notice me. No, they're not laughing with me. They're all laughing at me now. For now, the fact that men are always horny, for offending everybody in the world, and for making this character shows the day after his wife had one. Father Bowie, the world needs someone to work on all the time. George Carlin for saying all seven words you can't say. Shit, piss, fuck, fun, cock, sucker, motherfucker, tit. And for measuring forth your figure eight feet number fun. Where's Porky's orgasm sound like? Something like this. But if it ever did, it 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 did, for deciding to write a book about heroin addicts and for diving head first into heroin addiction to make it factual. All the other beats for their own contributions. Skirwack, Ginsburg, Cassie, Cooper, Burkhart, Torso, Burr, Getty, O'Hara, Whalen. Lou Reed for doing the same thing for musical girl and the literature. For playing 17 minutes of pure noise with a story about heroin addicted transvestite hookers who commit murder. For making an album entirely out of feedback. 
Thank you, Bob, for introducing the world to on-stage self-mutilation with pouring blood and vomit onto his audience. And, of course, for admitting he's a piece of shit but still wants to fuck. G.G. Allen for taking Nikki stage antics to a new extreme. And before we knew, we starting fights with random audience members. We're putting the danger back in rock and roll. So we're becoming friends with John Wayne Gacy, close arrest. Daniel Johnson for enduring bipolar schizophrenia. For making the most personal, honest, open, unique, and oddly beautiful music. Karl Marx for starting the most taboo political party with a 75-page manifesto. One word. Communism. Abby Hoffman for the anti-everything political theory. For revamping Marxism for the new youth. For encouraging theft. For the record show I have not yet sold to this book, but I plan to. James Joyce for showing his close line of conservative, pretentious, literary sound that the stream of consciousness is a work of art. The dreaming that old stiff boy guys can be truly filthy. The reason that we're caught in talking about eating pussy in your love letters. Harvey Kareem for proving that movies and books do not have to be one story of related scenes. See Gummo and a crack over the race riots. Tyler Durden for having strong, humble, erotic undertones. For showing massive erections in kids' films. For challenging everyone's sexuality and masculinity. For wanting to get hit as hard as he could. For threatening to kill people if they abandon their dreams. The sniper from phone booth for making the world a better place. For giving the worst people a second chance. For applying weird, sick, twisted mind games to give everyone better morals. Holy Caulfield for giving me support. For being my friend. For showing me I'm not alone. For reminding me never to open up. The basic boy thinks for saying it's okay to be just like everyone else, even though you think you're not. Kale, yoga pants, Lulu, leather, urban outfitters, imagine dragons. They're all so unique. Hashtag fuck you bitches. Hipsters for being unique and different, but just looking like all the other hipsters. For not being pretentious and rubbing your interests in everyone's face. For saying things like I watch Arrested Development because it's so underground and dry, like a corp. But then still not knowing who Kirouac was. See paragraphs four and five. The schizophrenic crackhead on my street for proving insanity is not a disability and the being a crackhead and alcoholic does not mean you are an addict. For getting up every day knowing that no one cares about you. The girl who can't keep her legs stuck for making sure everyone has easy access and no one dies a virgin. For always providing the snow, dead fish, musty salt water in the ocean everywhere you go. For proving that love is not essential. All the dead people for proving the world will still spin without us. For proving homicide does not end life if it is for a cause. For proving war only leads to body bags. For proving a self-inflicted shotgun blast does not shake the world. Seeing kids, for pointing out you are more hardcore than Henry Rollins. For teaching us that arms are meaningless and they aren't covered in wristbands. For keeping black bare eyes straighteners in business. For being so straight edge that devout Catholics are hardcore. Old pedophilic mall stance is playing God to bring his size monster to Patty Smith to the eye stem from the hole in the ground to the fly on the wall. Thanks to being God to the Energizer Bunny to Malcolm X to Wall Women to the Flying Spaghetti Monster to Leonard Cohen to Hunter S to Anarchist to Chronic Masturbators. Everybody to Kermit the fucking Frog. These are just some of my heroes. So Ryan, what's your opinion of Michael Kowalski's music? Well, the flavor is kind of unapologetically non-generic, you know, in the sense of there's nothing like it, but in the sense it's almost like you.